Yo, Wagwan, not nation. It's that guy, not locks. Doing here a free form Friday. Like it should be done with a Jamaican yadi. Youth, deceased, the late Yabi you. So make sure you guys stay tuned, stay subscribed, man. It's the best. Yeah, you know what? I, I was really hoping to find someone on this list with freeform locks, and Yabby Yu came about. Vocalist Vivian Jackson, better known as Yabby Yu, was a reggae, ro- reggae vocalist and producer who came to prominence in the early 70s through his uncompromising self produced work. Born August 14th, 1946, Kingston, Jamaica, died January 12th, 2010, Clarendon Parish, Jamaica, a reggae artist. Um, so Yabby Yu, already pretty amazing uh, with the photos that I'm seeing of Yabby Yu right here. Um, definitely rocking the bald locks to his fullest. And this is when your dread game confidence is skyrocketed past 100 here. Because it goes full confidence to go bald and still rock your locks. And why not? Look at us. He still had a smile on his face doing so. Looking at some images of Yabby Yu. Gonna find some freeform Congos happening with these locks. I don't, don't even have a word for balding dreadlocks. It's almost like... I don't know what you would call it. We gotta think of something that you call balding locks like that. But noticing the free forms happening here um, on the napes, usually you end up getting two big locks on the na- on the sides. There are a lot of thin ones as well on the back. It's great for free forming because you do get a um, a selection of the far and few thin and thick locks. Um, so for the maintenance of Yabby Yu here, he would have just let them go, wash and go every day. Maybe not washing every day, but definitely going every day. You can see some discoloration happening from the sun. We also see some dread balls happening. This does happen. It's just like um, the same way lint kind of mats up on your shirt. This will happen into the locks and it eventually falls out or works its way back into the lock. But do notice the thinness and the thickness comparison of these two locks here. Far and wide you can see that um, it's so intriguing that the locks can grow at different widths like that. Uh, Yabby you with some shorter locks here, they do seem to be a little more cylindrical in his younger days. And surprisingly still at about the same length. Um, Yabby you Dread Prophecy, again, that's a wicked shirt with the heart in the middle. Really cool look that he, he rocked his dreads fully, even with the, the balding happening on the front of his dreads. It's still crazy that he has so much hair everywhere else on, on his head though. So the dreads are still not really lacking. Um, this photo here, we can see the, the wicks that are happening, finger locks, very thin locks on the top and the front. A picture here of him shaking his dreads around. Him in his older days still rocking the Tam. Amazing. Um, I feel that dreads alone are worth getting just so you can rock the Tams. It's such an amazing apparatus for your dreads. Um, maybe that's just me. But um, freeform locks here out of Jamaica. And um, balding locks like so. Again, dreadlock confidence skyrocketing here. Uh, and, it's, and it's more than just the dreads at this point. It would have been for the dedication to jaw. So it doesn't matter what he really looks like. Free form locks. All you really gotta do is wash and go. Just grow your hair out and let it lock up. Keep them clean and you don't really got nothing to worry about. You will see over the years how they in fact start to come together. Uh, so it really just takes patience. Just takes patience. So we thank you, Yabby You, for showing us this through your videos and through your through your music and through your character. Big up yourself and may you rest in peace, brethren. So make sure you guys stay tuned, stay subscribed, and also happy and nappy. There's new videos coming here every single day. Check out the vlog channel, new daily in the life's happening every single day over there. Uh, and for the rest of you, I'll see you guys on Instagram because you're sending me some really good pictures for the Not Nation fan page. Peace out, one love. Holla back! Dead